I decided to do concealers separate from the foundations and the um, the setting powders just because that video is getting a little long and um, we're just going to do concealers and then like tinted moisturizers you know for those days where you just want like really light coverage. Um, so this is the stuff that I actively have but I'll just kind of go through and show you what I have in here. So I do have a couple of um, the the glow ones this one is way too dark this one i think i'll add to my giveaway it has never been used you can see like it's totally clean i guess you apply it like that and then you can use the little sponge on the end if you prefer to kind of blend it i guess i've like i've said i've never used it um here's Maybe this is like a newer updated one, maybe because people don't like the sponge on there. I don't know, but um, so these two are more my color. This one is way too dark, sunbeam and a light, but a glow is way too dark. Again, I'll mention really quick, um, I am doing a major, major giveaway when I reach a thousand subscribers. I did go to the post office and I picked up five large um, flat rate boxes that once I reach a thousand subscribers those five are going to be full because each video I do I pull out a couple of items here and there and I've been filling the boxes um, of course I've got some shape tapes um, I kind of bought a couple of different shades because well one I bought an extra creamy just because I wanted to see what this extra creamy was not a huge fan of the extra creamy um these are just regular ones and i have 12n is the one that i've really been using and then um 12b these two are just a hair dark this one actually looks a little weird like i wonder if this one went bad i see some separation here or it looks blotchy so this one's going in the trash. This one is a hair dark, but it's not too bad. Um, I can use that to cover like imperfections. But then the 12N and the 12B, I use like under my eyes. And then I have the 12N and the creamy. So those are. Um, let's see what other shape, no, no more shape tapes. So then the Jacqueline. So I bought these shortly after they launched. I haven't even tried them yet. Um, like a lot of people, I did see all the videos though of everyone kind of throwing some shade that this was no good, that dries down, it's too hard to like blend out. Like once it's down, like you can't blend it out. So after watching like Jacqueline try this or actually explain the best way to use it, um, she really recommended using the eye primer under the eyes the you know the one that's the under eye primer and then you put it on your eyes and you work it right away and she thought maybe some people were putting it on leaving it on like you would with a shape tape before you started blending it out right away where she recommends as soon as you put it on your skin you should blend it out so I bought them both I wanted to try it and give my own opinion and that just go based on, you know, what majority of people are saying. So I'm not sure if something like this is gonna stay on the shelves, if they're gonna keep, like if it's a big seller, I'm not sure, but I bought it. I'm gonna try and give it my own opinion. So then I have Natasha Denona um, Transfix Matte Concealer. I have that, um, this Avon one, the Longwear Concealer. Um, I might get rid of this one. This one I've had for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one's kind of drying up a little bit. We're kind of old, so that one's going. Uh, let's see, the Hourglass. This is a really nice one. I am, ha I like Hourglass. The Milani, I haven't tried this one yet. Um, it's still in the packaging. I did want to get Milani um, because I love their foundation, the Conceal and Perfect foundation. It is my number one. I love that foundation. Um, it's my go-to drugstore one that I grab all the time. Like, I'm, I almost grab it more than my high-end ones. Like, I love it. Well, I have like combination 
to oily skin. I have an oily T-zone. I'm very fair and I'm, I'm pink, um, but it works for me. So I thought I would try the concealer. So a little excited to try that one to see how well that goes. I got this because I just picked up the foundation also. Um, so I wanted to try them together because um, Johnny Ross was recommending and swears by this. So I figure he, you know, might as well try it. I got a little separation on this one. I think I might get rid of this one. Let me see, are they different colors? 4N and 2R. I'm not sure why there's the separation in there. Maybe it's just I haven't used them in a while, so maybe that might be it. So I'll see about that, but I'll hang on to these a little bit more because honestly, I have barely tried them. I haven't had them that long, so. Um, the L'Oreal Infallible, this one is way too dark. Um, this is a nice color for me. This one I don't even think I've used. I think the seal is still on there. I think the seal is still on there. That looks a little too dark for me. Um, the 350 bisque. So I think I'm gonna throw that in my giveaway. Um, this one I've used and I like that one. The Marc Jacobs Extra Shot. I haven't tried this yet. Um, actually, I just found this one. It was tucked in my um, foundation drawer. Um, it's light 110. Um, it's, I got it at uh, TJ Maxx. Dose of Colors, I like this one. Um, it's a nice lighter one. I keep going back and forth between 7 light or 8 light. They're very, very, I mean, it's so similar. Like, 8 looks like it's a little more pink and this one looks more neutral. So I kind of go back and forth, kind of like the same thing that I do with my Tarte Shape Tape between the 12N and the um, 12B. Right? Is that what it is? The 12N? Yeah, 12N and 12B kind of teeter back and forth. So, um, Dose of Colors, I really like that. That's a nice um, lighter coverage, you know, like a medium coverage. Um, the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. I don't know, but I don't think I've ever tried this one. I don't remember where I got this. God, where did I get this one? But my problem is, is like I have my two favorites and I grab those all the time. So I don't have too many concealers that I use nor have my opinion about. I'm um, going to try this. The I have, I think I tried this one time. The Light 103. So I'm excited about getting new. Um, I think I have some new ones here off to the side that I'm really excited to try. Um, because like I said, like I get stuck in a rut and I just use the same one. So I've been buying concealers like crazy lately because I need to try different ones. This is the ELF Flawless Brightening Concealer. I haven't even used this one. I just picked this one up at, I think it was Walmart. I picked this up. What is this? Oh, this is like that one powder that I have, but it's a concealer. That'll be a nice one. I'll have to try that. The Item Air Hug Concealer. That's what this is. I'll try that. Dosa Colors. I think seven. That's the one I already have. Like I go between seven and eight. This is an extra one I have off to the side. Another seven. Um, I'm not gonna go through these enough before they go bad. So I'll toss one of them in my, my giveaway. Um, the Tarte Shape Tape, even I love sh Tarte Shape Tape, so when they have them on sale, um, I think Tar uh, Ulta had them this year where if you were um, a diamond member, you got a free Shape Tape, and then they had them um, where they were buy one, get one free. So when they have them like that, I snatch them up. So they're all 12 ends because that's the color that I tend to gravitate towards. So I've got a couple extra of those just because when they're on sale, I grab them. Um, this was part of their thing. I think you got this free when you bought something. This is the Milani. What color did I get with the Milani? Oh yeah, here it is, 110. So this would be an extra one with the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Just a couple more um, shape tape. And then, so I've got three that are the 12B. 
and then 12N are the two colors that I go back and forth on, so I got a couple of the 12Bs. The KBD Locket Concealer, that, that doesn't look too dark. That looks pretty good. L13 Cool is what I grabbed. No Filter Concealer by ColourPop. I have never tried ColourPop Concealer, so I was excited. I'm gonna try that. Um, and then, you know, like back in the day, growing up, we didn't have like, well, I never got the liquid concealers. We always had ours like this. Like our concealers were like this. This is what I got anyway. Used it all the time. No, I guess I had the liquid ones, but I wanted to get that. I saw that stick one and I was like, oh my God, I always used to use stick ones. Forever Makeup. I had just gotten that new foundation, so I'm excited to try their concealer to go with it. And I also have the setting powder to go with it also. Here's Tarte Clay Stick. Is this, this is the same one. So it looks like I got two. Actually, I think I bought that by mistake, um, not realizing I, I had already put it in my cart and I put it in my cart again. And then I checked out at Tarte's website and um, ended up getting two by mistake. Here's e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. I have the foundation and the powder. Um, love the blending sponge. I have that as well. So that's nice. One. Can't wait to try that one. The Tarte C figure. I love their shape tape. I'm not sure if this will be just as good. I don't know. It's a little dark, but we'll see how it works. The Milani Supercharged Under Eye Tint. So it's kind of that pinky, you know, that whole craze that's going around where everyone's trying to do like pink under eyes. Then here's the Ulta one. I also got the Ulta foundation, the Ulta powder. Try all of that. I'm gonna get it out of the packaging. Like it'll be nice having multiple uh, concealers because honestly, I've just been using the two. And it's like, I really need to, like all this makeup that I have and I have, such a small collection of concealers so this will be good having all of these extra concealers that I can try and sample and see what I like give my opinion do reviews I can do get ready's with me the Ulta I got this color fair neutral concealer with Ulta then I got these um, 110, the Maybelline uh, 110 Fair, and then I got the 160 Brightener where it's got the shades of pink. So even if it, you know, it is too dark, um, just trying the formula to see how well it blends and stuff be kind of nice then I got these two the NYX uh, bear with me concealer serum so I'm wondering like the concealer serum is that just like a, a lighter coverage I don't know and then the Joa um, I get a lot of the kiss nails um, so when I go to their site I always kind of hop over um, pull the tab down for Joa which I guess is their sister brand. Um, so they have their eye sealer, eye serum concealer with ceramides and peptides. Anyway, it'll be interesting to try that. So anyway, so that's concealers. These are my extra ones that I've got duplicates of. So I'm gonna stick that off to the, the, um, the side. These are the two that I'm throwing away. And then I have a couple in here that I'm gonna toss in the giveaway. So that's concealers. And then these are like the skin tints that I have. Um, I wasn't real hot on this. I think I might actually just to toss this. It's um, the Tinted Moisturizer Skin Balm. I might give it one more shot, but I just wasn't real hot on it. It just seemed kind of, like I put it on, I remember when I tried it, I put it on and then I had to wipe it right off because it was. It just seemed real dry and I don't know if it's old. I think I got this at TJ Maxx. 
so I might actually just throw this away. Um, this is the Becca Light Shifter Dewy Tint. Um, it does seem too dark for me. I think I'm gonna give this away. Put that in with my giveaway stuff. So these, I think I got these and the packaging There's no name on them telling you like what color is what. So I had to write on there that that was one honey light, one oat, because nowhere on the packaging except for the outer packaging does it tell you what color it is. So um, I wasn't real hot with these, so I think I'm actually going to toss these. I did not care for them. They just didn't sit right on my skin. So I'm just gonna toss these three. The Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. I don't think I've tried this one yet. Um, or maybe I did. Well, it was so long ago, I don't remember. So This one, I tried this, I like this, the Jacqueline. This is a really nice one if you're, you can add foundation on top of it. I wore it by itself and I thought it did a good job of just blurring my pores and just kind of gave me just tiny little bit of coverage like we're talking teeny weeny. It's nice though, it gives you something so it's just not bare skin. Um, I haven't tried this yet, it's the um, Tarte Sugar Rush uh, Skin Treat Poreless Tinted Moisturizer. This is the Active Glow Tinted Day Cream. Hmm. Let me see what that looks like. I think I threw one of these in my giveaway. It won't even come out. Or it has to be upside down for it to come out. Oh my God, it has to be upside down for it to come out. So I'm wondering if maybe the little thing in there is broken. So that's too dark. That's ridiculously dark. I've had that sitting <laughs> in my drawer for so long I never used it and now I'm just finding out it's way too dark. So that's going in the trash. Okay, so we're gonna keep these two and I'm kind of guessing that this is also gonna be too dark. But I did already get it all grubby, so let's try it again. Well, maybe not, that looks pretty decent. That, I don't know if that'll work on me. It blended really, really nice. Like really, really nice. I'll keep it. I'll kind of see how that looks on my face, but I'm wondering if that's gonna be a little dark. But it says it's a skin tinted, tinted moisturizer, but that's, maybe I just put too much on the back of my hand. So I'll test that one out because I really liked how that blended so nicely. No streaking, it didn't clump, it wasn't real dry, it's really nice. So that one I'll keep, but I have a fearing that that's gonna be too dark, maybe I'll give it to my daughter. So anyway, I'm just keeping these three like tinted moisturizer type things. Um, we're gonna keep that. That's giveaway. Got some packaging, we got some trash. And I'll just stick this in the drawer. We gotta find a spot for these. Okay, so what I just did is I just tossed all my concealers in like this bin here. And I'm sticking it in my drawer with um, the setting powders. Um, let me take you over there and I'll show you. Like, I'm just putting this bin in the drawer that we have like the setting powders and stuff in, which I forgot about this Mally one, which I don't even know where to put that. Like, it's like a primer, it's like a touch up thing. Like, so I stuck it in here, but it's not even 
like it's used you can set your makeup and stuff with it so I don't even know where to put that little guy so that's a, the little sponge that goes with it so I just stuck it in here but I just kind of moved this stuff off to the side and I just stuck this bin in here until we're done like organizing um, because I put my foundations here the other thing of foundations up here and then once we're all done because then we have um, like our other setting powders there and then down here I have several drawers three of them I think that are just full of um, blushes bronzers highlighters those three things so I got three drawers that are packed full of that plus I have this big bin of all of our extra ones that I just bought that I need to get into the drawers so what I'll do because I have five more drawers left in this whole series those are my setting sprays i gotta find another spot for those but i think i'm just gonna empty out the bottom two drawers which i've got lips and setting sprays have it all be blushes bronzers and um highlighters and then we'll have to go over here and then start putting in like lips and other things like that too so all right we're gonna wrap it up here guys we'll see you next time bye